Hi there, my name is Jason Team. I'm a doctoral student at Carlton University and the photo that you're looking at at the moment is a photograph of a fishway that's been designed to enable sturgeon to migrate upstream past a, uh, past a dam on the Richelieu River in Quebec. This is where most of my field work is undertaken and the work that's conducted here is uh, is looking at sturgeon passage through these areas, of, through these fishways and uh, analysing their swimming behaviour and, and uh, dealing with how they interact with the flows uh, so that I use these, uh, these tags to determine uh, where the sturgeon are within the fishway, uh, where they are before and after they enter the fishway and, and to determine fine scale uh, habitat use and swimming behaviour and, and how they interact with those flows. What do you find interesting about sturgeon? Sturgeon are a long-lived animal. They live for uh, up to 150 years. Uh, there are a number of number of species of sturgeon uh, distributed throughout the world, and and most of these populations are under threat. Uh, most of the threats come from barriers to migration. So these fish uh, can live in open oceans, or they can live in lakes and river systems. But they all share a, a common uh, goal, a life history strategy, that they migrate up these large rivers to to breed in fast-flowing water and and dams impact those migrations. So fishways are designed to uh, facilitate their movement up to these spawning areas and and to continue the uh, the population. Hi, I'm Stephen Cook. I'm a professor of biology and environmental science here at Carleton University. I'm one of Jason's co-advisors for his PhD studies. Jason's project is part of a, a large uh, collaborative um, uh, research group across Canada that brings together industry, academics, and, and government scientists, uh, all with a common purpose of trying to improve the uh, sustainability of hydropower operations in Canada to protect fish and other aquatic resources. Hi, I'm Jeff Dawson. I'm a biology professor here at Carleton and one of Jason's co-advisors. The research that Jason's doing is important because it's bringing field work and laboratory work together. The President's Fellowship that Jason has received is important because it allows us to bring top-notch researchers to Carleton to do such important research.